Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to the Stock Swish Show Play of the Day. Uh, one of a few plays of the day, actually, today. This is Fossil. Nice gap here and actually worked uh, very well. I thought this might do something like a rally first. However, I did write down this morning that it's much, much better if it doesn't after I looked at the placement of everything in the daily chart and the overall look at this thing. I'm out of this now. It's 1.30. This could break down again today and fall and break a new low into the afternoon, but if it does, I won't be in it. Uh, it's hard for me to continue and trade in the afternoon. I really just only ever a few times a month or a year do I do that. I did stay through this trade at least to get the second breakdown here into the lunchtime period, and then I just got out. It was a nice trade, and I got out of the first piece in the morning. So let's take a look at the gap. Uh, when you look at this, actually, let's just look at this whole chart here. It's a very interesting chart here in this fossil. A uh, nice rally, 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 came in, dropped, rallied again, broke new highs. So the stock is performing very well. This is back in 2011, 2012, and then a gap down here. Actually, this is almost $20, this move. Let's go look at it. The stock can rock and roll when it wants to. And... You know, I, I it kind of could have maybe would have done it today. It didn't. I hung on to C, but I wasn't going to be in this till 4 o'clock. Look at this. Wow. 93.60 is a high, 75.56 is a low. That was pretty something there. And today the situation was that the stock had fallen the last two days and then gapped down. And a lot of people would look at this as a pretty big gap down. So it dropped hard in the morning, rallied back hard, and then broke again. I think this thing is just a little bit tired here now today. It's just a little bit tired now here with everything that's going on with itself. And did have a nice move in it. When you're playing a stock like this at this price point, Oh, here's a spread. Here's 15 cents right now. It's been wavering back and forth all day, but you got to make sure that you absolutely have a stop at the right place. And again, I still use stops. I'm not not using a stop. Can you imagine not using a stop in a hundred dollar price point stock? There's no way. You have to put a stop in. Because what if this would have failed? What if this thing would have failed and ran up? It could have ran up in the opposite direction like $15. So you must uh, size yourself accordingly and put this stop in the right place. And although I like to do very tight small stops in a lot of my stocks, you can't do that with very expensive things. And I don't train expensive stocks all the time, but every once in a while I do if the gap is good. And this was a good gap today. And I love the weakness in this. And I actually could have taken this immediately out of the gate. And the stop really had to be 105 here. So then it rallied back. Here was the entry again. Boom. There it is. Stop. Rolled on over. Okay. And did have a nice move. It's just that the stop is really big on this to take it, and there's no way around it. I mean, there's just no way around it. So no matter where you took this in here, you had to have the stop at 105, and it had a good move. I was expecting a little teeny weeny weeny bit more. I wanted to break 100 to go down to 99. That could even happen tomorrow. I mean, this may break a new low this afternoon. It's only 130. This looks still crazy weak, and the 20 is squishing on top of it to make a sandwich. I'm out of it. It could still break down today, though. Well, we'll have to see what it does. But it was a really, really, really nice gap, okay? There was there was problems with uh, a bunch of stuff today, but a lot of them ended up performing in the end, and the rating system told me that, which is the reason to have a rating system. I have a 26-point rating system that tells me which stock to watch to trade each day to short. I knew this was a short. I even thought if this thing rallied very large into the morning, it was still a short. But my dead-on number, I had the dead-on number for the resistance at 106. It didn't even get anywhere near there. And actually held 105 all day. And again, held beautifully all day. This is breaking down again. <sighs> but I'm all out of it. But yeah, this could break 101 here into the close. It's only 130. Actually, this is setting up at a good time here between 130 and 145 and a 15 minute chart. So nice, a gap on fossil. Again, most of the move was in the morning quick, fast, hard, and into the late morning for a second move. And it looks like it's setting up here for a possible third move in the afternoon uh, if you want to do it. But a nice move here in the fossil, good gap, good rated gap. Again, using the 26 point rating system, it has to be 20 or more. If it is, you can look to trade it. And that's exactly what I did. Nice move on Fossil. This is Melissa with the Stock Swiss Show uh, Play of the Day. Have a wonderful day, everybody. If you're interested in more information, email me at melissa at thestockswish.com.